how to add complex as well as basic transparency to a shape in a fancy photo. Got a shape here, could be any shape, star, cog, but this one's an ellipse. And I'm just gonna to go to layer and duplicate. So layer and duplicate, so you've got two. And I'm just gonna go over here, and this is the layers panel, and just deselect that. So now you can't see the underlying design. But this one I'm gonna be using with the gradients. I could use a gradient tool, not great, because you can only use one. But what you can do, you can go to effects. So click here, click effects, and now you can just go here to gradient overlay. Just click that on. So that's selected, that's highlighted, everything's done, and it's blend mode of normal now. This area will be transparent, the black is transparent. This area will be opaque, the white area. And you can keep moving this back and forth so you get more, obviously there. Transparency is a bit less, obviously more opaque there. And you can also change the angles, you can move it around. But what you can also do, and I'm just gonna change that, move that back again like that. You can go here and you can click this little plus, and that will add another layer of effects. And what you can do, you can go over here to blending and you can go to dark and multiply, you can run through them. As you see, you've got difference. Now I'm just gonna go with difference now. But what you can do, simply move the offset. And as you do that, you can see what happens. And again, you've got more area, obviously opaque, less transparency. And you can change the angles and move that around. So literally thousands of possible combinations of this area opaque, this area will be transparent. But you can also go click a plus again. And you can see, build up more and more complex design. Again, you can change the angle, move that around. Again, this area opaque, this area will be trans, and obviously the blend between the two. But what you can also do, just click here. Click the gradient, and just double click there, click there, and you can change that maybe to white. Maybe change that to black. So again, you can build up more and more complex designs. Again, this area, opaque, this area will be transparent. So I'm not gonna go any more. I could add three, four, 10 additional gradient overlays. Click close. Now at this point you think, oh, great. Now I can just turn this into a mask. Well, how to do that? Well, there's actually a step before that. So go to layer and down to rasterize. I know that doesn't make sense, but rasterize, because the thing is, Preserve layer effects. I don't want that. The default is to preserve them. What I want is to deselect that. So deselect that one and then rasterize. Now go to layer and rasterize the mask. But I would suggest bring back the other one first. Just makes it easier. So have both and now make certain they align. So select both of them. Just use alignment tools. So just align nicely. Now with this one, go to layer and now rasterize the mask. And there you've got it, you've got transparency. So you've got the pack and you've got the transparent areas in your shape and it's a more complex design. And of course you can build up different quadrants of areas. Now you could also use brush strokes. You could use brush strokes maybe with a gradient. That's another possible way of doing this. Please put in the comments below if you can think of other ways of doing it. So you've got this area, you've got this area and now of course, they're separate at the moment. What you can do, you can simply go to the layers panel and just simply drag down. You can see as you put that, it puts it on top of that and release. And now if you expand that out, you can see the mask is associated with that ellipse. And you can just move it back and forth. Now, you see what I've done? I've actually moved the mask. I don't want to do that. So undo, make certain you always select the ellipse. Because then what you can do, you can move it around. You can resize it. So I just resize it. And again, now just to demonstrate it's got transparency, simply hold down the Alter Option key or use the layer again and duplicate. And you can see as you duplicate that, you've got transparency, more complex transparency. And again, literally thousands of possible combinations of opaque and transparent areas can be built up using this approach. You can also do it in another way. Got a layer here, this time a star. What I can do, I just quickly add a mask just down the bottom. So click there. Now, if you're using version one, you will just see the mask option. This one has got a few more masks. So this is version two, so mask. So you've got your mask. 
Now you can go to the gradient tool. So with the gradient tool, just go there and you can apply a gradient. And as you do that, you can see there, if I drag that across, you got that. Now again, the white area is the opaque area. You can see white there and you've got black and you can move it around so you've got transparency. So you can set it up like that. And you think, well, that's great because if I apply another gradient, unfortunately, you can't use blend modes. But what you can do, you can expand this out, go to layers and you've got the mask there. And you can right click and you can duplicate. So you can see what happens. It just slightly reduced it a bit more actually. But what you can do, you can go over here to the gradient tool. Now, unfortunately, the gradient tool is not available with the bar when you go back to it. I would love to see that. I don't know why it doesn't remain. Please put in the comments below if you know of a way of doing that. But you go back to it and you have to apply it again. So if you just click on it, just do that, go back to it again. You see every time you have to rework out, but you can see what you do. If you just apply it multiple times, different angles, you will get different areas of transparency and opaqueness. And you of course can re repeat that. You can go up here and you go right click and duplicate again and you get another one. Again, great until, but it's really sort of hit and miss. It's very much reducing it down or subtracting from it endlessly. It doesn't seem to be, now you can always go back to these ones. So you can click there and then you can change it again. So you can see you can make certain areas more or less. And again, you can always modify this gradient to build up a complex design. But I find this method slightly more fiddly to actually achieve the result. But for some, some designs you might think, oh, you know what? That's a real quick and easy way. So if you've got say like a quadrant you want, simply go here and I'm just gonna use the ellipse. So again, the ellipse down here, click the mask, so mask, Got a mask there, gradient tool, and simply drag there. And you've got half. So you've got obviously that top area, pack, transparent below. Again, expand this out. And again, go to the mask. Make sure you select the mask, not the ellipse. Right click and duplicate. And of course, this time what you can do, you can turn around and say, oh, let's go the other way. So you can see you can end up with a quadrant. Unfortunately, there's no, as far as I can see, so if you go for difference, all those things, they don't work with masks. That would be great if you could build up a complex design using that, but this is a way of creating that. And once you finish with that, of course, that's it. You've got your quadrant design, and again, go to the ellipse, and you can move it around. You can hold down the alter option, and you can duplicate that design. So you can create some interesting designs very quickly by combining multiple gradients. But I personally, I prefer the first method but everyone will have their own preferences, I'm certain. Maybe there are other methods as well. Please let me know in the comments below. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you much.